all right guys so today we're gonna be replacing this door glass driver's side on this 2013 toyota tundra all right let's get started so first there's gonna be a few things you gotta remove uh, you'll have to take this little uh, cover which is just really felt comes right off this little plastic cover this one here and this clip there and uh should allow you to get to all the screws you need to take off um, and don't forget to pop this off too all right so here i'm gonna get started removing uh, the little plastic cover i'm gonna take that off once you get that off there is just a phillips screw in there <clears throat> and then this like i said it's just really a little felt it just sits in there you can see it just comes right off there's really nothing holding it in there uh, and I just grab my drill here and remove both the screws and I believe that's the only two screws on this door panel you got to remove all right and this clip here you'll see me taking off right now just push it in and uh, then kind of pry it out from the outside edge it'll pop right out oh, you can see I dropped it there and this little cover I was talking about uh, just pops right off also, pretty easy. Toyotas are some of the easier uh, vehicles to work with as far as glass, door glasses, windshields. Uh, this cover too, just pop that off. Uh, there is no screws under there, but just to get this out of the way, uh, make sure you unplug it. You will need it plugged in later to roll the window up and down. So we can remove the glass but for now just unplug it get it out of the way and last is the light you see just kind of pry it off it also just has a little clip um, right there just push that little clip down and then it'll release the light once you have all those things taken off, just grab your little panel tool and just kind of start popping it off. Uh, just kind of, like I said, pops right off. It's super easy. And once you work around there and you feel like you have them all loose, just kind of slide it up and it comes right off. This next step could be kind of tricky. These can be kind of hard. Sometimes you need some pliers, but these shouldn't be too bad. Just kind of pull them off one side and then they have a little groove right there or just slide the wire out of there just like that same thing for this next one and then once you get those two off that's it just move your panel completely out of the way and it's all exposed then you want to take the speaker off same 10 millimeter you'll need that 10 millimeter socket <clears throat> it's just four little bolts take those off once you get your speaker off, attach your uh, your electrical back on there so you can roll your window up and down. Get it to where you can get to the two bolts. Um, this is a 10 millimeter bolts right there. You can see one there. And then on the other side here, usually you just want to slice a little cut so you don't have to take it all off or you know remove the whole thing. Just enough to where you can get in there. Here little bolt off like I said this is 10 millimeter get them both loose and that release your door glass once you uh, get that released it'll just kind of pop right off you just want to slide your glass at an angle <clears throat> here you'll see me as you can see just kind of slide it to the front lift the back of it up and it slides right out and like I said, this door glass here we we're removing because it was uh, scratched. The customer wanted to get a new one, so uh, we'll just move that out of the way. And then to get the other one in, sometimes you want to just uh, remove that 10 millimeter bolt right there and loosen the whole little channel to get your door glass in a little bit easier. So once you take that off, um, you're pretty much ready uh, for the new door glass. And same thing when you put it in there, kind of angle the front down just like that. Start it, uh, start the front of it, slide it in there, 
and when you're trying to get it in there make sure you're in the channel um, and just kind of start rotating it sometimes the further down you go the easier and just like that it slides right in and on these ones it'll just sit right down on the little channel where it's supposed to go and just put that 10 millimeter back on there to hold the channel and the door glass back in place all right once you get that on there just make sure that these two holes are kind of lined up that way you can get your two bolts on there once you see that they're lined up go ahead and start putting your uh, your bolts in there all right that looks pretty good and uh, get those attached on there once they're both on there you're ready to try your window make sure this is always something you want to try is uh, you know roll it up and down a few times make sure that it's working properly <clears throat> when uh, when these are broken usually what you're trying to do here is listen for any glass that may still be in the track you want to make sure that it all gets uh, gets out of there so it doesn't break the new one and then uh, pretty much just start putting everything back together kind of reverse um, it's a little reverse process start with what you took off last um, and then just start putting everything back together and once you're all done um, customers should be happy with the work you did and then this is the final uh, result right there brand new door glass for the customer